many reasons why wars are won. When you have the biggest and deadliest killing machines, it really helps. When you want to make a big impact, you need maximum firepower. There's nothing clear but the munitions and the bodies. There's no place to hide from this cave-busting bomb. It's one of the world's most powerful munitions. The Iraqis call this rocket Steel Rain. The enemy just trembles, and I'm about to see it unleashed. Normally, this isn't a place you want to be. I'm Richard Macklin, and I spent 10 years as a Navy SEAL. I thought I'd seen everything, but there is a new generation of big, brutal weapons out there which will create maximum impact on the battlefield. It's military shorthand for multiple launch rocket systems. A whole family of launch vehicles, rockets, and missiles, it's designed to hit targets that ordinary cannons just can't reach. The first missions we shot were between 60 and 65 kilometers. It was initially deployed during the first Gulf War, when military thinking favored high-volume attacks covering as large an area as possible. The original MLRS rocket was unguided and carried hundreds of individual bomblets, which caused damage over a huge area. Because of this, the Iraqi troops soon gave it the nickname Steel Rain. MLRS was defined in Desert Storm. I mean, Steel Rain. I mean, at this instant surrender, don't even fire at us. But the changing needs of modern warfare means that technology has to adapt. Today, precision is the name of the game. And here at White Sands Missile Range, preparations are well underway to test the very latest addition to the MLRS family. How long has this system been around? The guided multiple launch rocket systems have been around only for about five or six years, but it traces its history back to the original multiple launch rocket system, which was developed in the early 80s. Uh, the accuracy was uh, limited, and it was an area munition. And after the first Gulf War, we learned uh, some lessons from that. And one of those big lessons was that we needed munitions that had better precision, able to attack point targets uh, with, uh, with good precision. And then so that started us on the path towards development of the guided multiple launch rocket system. The weapon is guided because it uses GPS to pinpoint its targets at ranges of over 50 miles. The military has access to more accurate GPS than, say, the civilian. Consequently, we can fire these rockets very accurately. It limits the collateral damage. It has incredible pinpoint precision. We want to hit the target. We want to uh, devastate the target and, um, and prove that we can uh, show the capability all the way from command and control all the way down to the launcher. You know, you can basically hit a target and not take out the uh, buildings around it. You know, precision attack is really, um, is really what's going on today in, in today's asymmetrical battlefield. And it carries a single high-explosive warhead to focus all its destructive power on just one spot. It's able to defeat the targets and be lethal, but limit the damage to the surrounding areas. You know, you can basically hit a target and not take out the uh, buildings around it. We know we kill it if we hit it. An earlier version of this rocket has already completed its testing phase and proven itself highly successful in combat. Right now, they're fielded to Iraq. We had an urgent need from the Iraqi theater, and so we hurried into production to get these rockets over there. The current version deployed in Iraq detonates on impact and has a delay mode for underground targets. We have uh, point detonate, which is when impacts on the ground, it detonates, and then delay mode where it goes underground a little bit before, before What's it What's the advantage of like delay 